much actually. But but uh, but uh, but uh, here is somebody from Stretch Cos Armstrong. It says in uh, English, in England, Asia. But uh, here is somebody from Stretch Cos Armstrong. It says in uh, English, in England, Asians are carrying out child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Now, true. I think in every culture you'll see this child abuse. But uh, here is somebody from Stretch Cos Armstrong. It says in uh, English. In England, Asians are carrying out child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Out child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Now, true. Out child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Now, true. I think in every culture you'll see this child abuse. In any culture you'll see child abuse. But in every culture, in any culture you'll see child abuse. But in every culture, we have to stamp it out. It's quite sad. Thank you, Nitty. I couldn't have put that in less words. Much appreciated, and the very best of luck. And your charity is, is Freedom, is it? It's called Freedom. Do you have a website? Freedomcharity.org.uk. Thank you. Uh, now we're doing here uh, in info 345 606 for your experiences. Text 84850. I see that. But uh, here is somebody from Stretch Cos Armstrong. It says in uh, English. In England, Asians are carrying out child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Now, true? In any culture, you right. see child abuse, but in every culture, we have to stamp it out. In any culture, you right. see child abuse, but in every culture, we have to stamp it out. In any culture, you right. see child abuse, but in every culture, we have to stamp it out. Yeah, it's quite sad. <laughs> Thank you, Nitty. I couldn't have put that in less words. Now, child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Now, true? I think in every culture you'll see this child abuse. In any culture you'll see child abuse, but in every culture we have to stamp it out. Yeah, it's quite sad. Thank you, Nitty. I couldn't have put that in less words. Much appreciated and the very best of luck. And your charity is, is Freedom, is it? It's called Freedom. Do you have a website? Freedomcharity.org.uk. Thank you. Uh, now we're doing uh, here in three four five six zero six zero nine seven three for your experiences. Or the text eight four eight five zero. I see that uh, medics in Scotland's biggest cities have treated victims of female genital mutilation on more than 230 occasions over the last two years. According to 230 occasions over the last two years. According to 230 occasions over the last two years. According to 230 occasions over the last two years. According to newly uncovered figures. This was yesterday from a Scottish Liberal Democrat MP Joe Swinson. She said the bar for Avenue closed. But uh, here is somebody from Stretch Cos Armstrong says in. Uh, English. In England, Asians are carrying out child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Now, true, 230 occasions over the last two years, according to newly uncovered figures. This was yesterday from a Scottish Liberal Democrat MP Joe Swinson. She said the bus for Avenue are closed must be wiped out entirely. Responses to this uh, freedom of information request from the party show that uh, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, recorded treating women identified with FGM on at least 138 occasions in 2017 and 2018. So this begs the question, doesn't it, how determined are we to stop FGM in this country? I mean, how do you go from a situation where you're treating people like that and they think it's just Greater Glasgow and Clyde recorded treating women identified with FGM on at least 138 occasions in 2017 and 2018. So, but uh, here is somebody from Stretch Cos Armstrong says in uh, English, in England, Asians are carrying out child abuse on young girls and getting away with it. Now, true people like that and they think it's it's uh, all these occasions 138 occasions in the, in, in this particular uh, grouping and, and 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 yet no prosecutions we've had one prosecution in the uk and that was a ugandan woman of 37 years of, in, in east london and that that prosecution came last weekend so so i'm not sure how determined we are we've got to get stuck in this now yeah. oh, three four five six oh six eight Female, nine seven three give me your calls i mean to tell me what your story is is. And Patrick, I'll be with you in, um, in in just a second. We have an MP called Sir, Fr Sir Christopher Chope who's getting it in the ear quite rightly for getting in the way, just as he did with the upskirting bill, for getting in the way, just as he did with the upskirting bill, for getting in the way, just as he did with the upskirting bill. He, he, 
and he he's delayed a private member's bill, and that's all it's going to be is a delay. I mean, look, I don't understand the full political process on on all this thing, but he. I mean, look, I don't understand the full political process on on all this thing, but he he delayed a bill that could have gone through and could have progressed, um, and and because he didn't like the parliamentary process. I mean, that is. It's it's the wrong way to think, but I understand why he thinks it. Is he idiotic and reprehensible and all those sorts of things? Well, reprehensible and all those sorts of things. Well, reprehensible and all those sorts of things. Well, reprehensible and all those sorts of things. Well, you know, reprehensible and all those sorts of things. Well, you know, reprehensible and all those sorts of things. Well, you know, that's up to you to make your your own mind. Uh, in fact, here is Sir Christopher Job objecting on laws protecting children from um, from from this FGM. Sir Christopher. Children Act 1989 Amendment, Female Genital Mutilation Bill, Lords, second reading. With the permission of the member in charge, I beg to move. Objection. Objection. Take. Okay, so there's right, now, now there's a lot of words for that, but for me, it, it's wrong. It's a little sick. It's it, it's it's out of touch, and it's not right. But I'm not into all that sort of stuff. That would right. But I'm not into all that sort of stuff. That would be down to reprehensible and all those sorts of things. Well, you know, that's up to you to make your, your own mind. Not right. But I'm not into I said, all that sort of stuff. Why? That would be down to word. All right, uh, Patrick is in Sheffield. Hello, Patrick. Good morning to you. Uh, hello, Andrew. Hello, mate. Go ahead and have your say. It's a digger bow uh, eye. Tickets will believe, um, as you said, in some parts of the world, it's 95 to 100 percent uh, common, where the courts have had to take uh, passports off the family to stop them taking their children to other countries to have one particular lady, one particular mother, and you could tell she was saying it from her heart. Children to other countries to have one particular lady, one particular mother, and you could tell she was saying it from her heart. Tell she was saying it from her heart. Children to other countries to have a one particular lady. Tell she was saying it from her heart. Tell she was saying it from her heart. Screamed at the judge that, do you realise you've made my daughter a spinster for the rest of her life? I believe she is possessed by the devil. Tell she was saying it from her heart. Spinster for the rest of her life. I believe she is possessed by the devil. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So, so you're working in a court. You're seeing this, and and, and you have and you, and you have seen it. I, I won't ask you to go into any more detail on the, on the court case, but um, you see things like that. I'm sure you see heartbreaking things on, on a weekly basis. Uh, I have heartbreaking things. We've got long enough to talk about it. Trust me. I'm uh, on the court case, but um, you see things like that. I'm sure you see heartbreaking things on, on a weekly basis. Uh, I have heartbreaking things. We've got long enough to talk about it. Trust me. I respect the nourishment that people from different cultures and different countries have given to this country over the years, kingdom, and FGM is one of them. And I think it's very important and not unreasonable. Oh, mm-hmm.